Hello everybody, I'm your friend and neighborhood Let's Player Spider Wild welcome you back to Let's Play Loom. As we left off, we cracked open the sky and now we've got this. A uh, branch. So we're gonna hop on it. And away we go! Across the ocean! I can't really think of any kind of lyrics for this. It's just the main theme song playing again. I could make up my own sea shanty for this, but I'm not good with lyrics. So you just have to go to listen to this music with all their lyrics. So we got a tornado up against us. Well, not really a tornado, it's a hurricane because tornadoes are on land and hurricanes are in the sea. Or at least they start in the ocean. Were you gonna say something, Bombin? No? Okay. Huh? I guess it's a broken loop of the tornado sound. I think that's close enough. So let me get my notes again here because I need to. Beep, 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 beep. I already got that. Huh? So let's try it backwards. No, it's wrong. Put the staff down, thank you. Hmm. I guess that isn't a draft. No, it's not. That worked. I totally wrong, written it wrong. It's supposed to be D. It's going F D D E. There we go. All of these have a meaning, so that one is pretty much water and empty water when you do it backwards. So that's what we did. We pretty much just emptied the water sprout. I guess it was a typhoon then. Although it looked like a hurricane to me. So let's go on, go on the land. Say goodbye to the seagulls because they're not following us anymore. And we get a new note. G. G. I wonder if we need to use that at some point. Ha <laughs> funny, funny. So we got like some kind of a town over here or a city. Looks like it's made out of crystals. Because it's all sparkly. And neat. And green. Very green. So let's go and check it out. Let's see what we get. A very... Utopian looking city. At least very futuristic. Made out of glass. Or crystal. Whatever. Let's see what we got here. Is there anything I can look at? There should be something. Like this plaque here. I thought that would be two. I guess this is the other one. I'm sure we're gonna meet somebody here. At least that's all I thought. Ah, Welcome there. to Crystal Guard, stranger. Crystal Guard. I'm Master Goodmode, 31st in the Noble Guild of Glassmakers. And who might you be? My name is Bobbin. Bobbin Threadbear of the, um, Noble Guild of Weavers. A weaver! Tell me, is it true that to peer beneath a weaver's hood brings instant agonizing death? I honestly don't know. Nobody's ever tried it with me. You have such a wonderful view of the sky here. Have you noticed a flock of swans flying this way? Swans? Swans. You know... Birds. Yes, yes, swans. <laughs> no, I haven't heard of any swan sightings. Uh, look around to your heart's content, weaver threadbare. And remember, if you break it, you buy it. <laughs> what a charming fellow, I have to say. 
very flamboyant with the voice acting there. But then again, these guys are pretty eccentric, you could say. I mean, they are glassmakers, and just look at this work. Beautiful. Soft shard, wife of loosened bottle blow, here attain final clarity. And yes, this is a graveyard that we're in. Yeah. Would you like a glass or crystallized tombstone for yourself? Would make unique, you know. Very unique. I haven't seen anything like that before. It's always marble or stone. Near this spot, Lucent Bottleblow, founder of the noble guild of glassmakers, attained his final clarity. So that's pretty much the, uh... So that's pretty much the grave graves of the uh, founder and his wife. How touching. So very nice. But seriously, somebody should make their, themselves a tombstone made out of glass or crystal. Make an awesome tombstone! Seriously, think about it. It would be hard to carve your name on it, though. I mean, how could you? How would you? Not so fast here. Oh, you're gonna walk yourself into listening to these guys. Whoever that other guy is. Good. Who's that? I can barely hear what they're saying. Well, shut up so we can listen. I trust your excellency is pleased with our progress. That all depends on how far this sphere can help me see. Four hours, most assuredly. Uh, perhaps six, with a bit of luck. Only six hours? But I expressly requested eight. Every sphere is unique, Bishop. It is impossible to accurately predict how well this sphere will perform. I need at least eight hours. Eight hours, Master Crucible. See to it. Demanding! Jeez. I do, I wonder if that guy is evil. I mean, seriously, you can tell that that guy's evil. Black and green. It doesn't, it doesn't help that he's wearing green. It, that doesn't take away from his evilness. I mean, seriously, just look at the guy. The face says it all. It just says, I am very demanding and I want to rule the world. Hmm. Huh. A glass bell. I wonder what will happen if... That happens. We descend the grade! And reappear! It's a... T it's an elevator. I'm dizzy. So it's pretty ah, much an... Look! Who are you, lad? And just what do you think you're doing up here? I... I'm not sure. I just rang the bell and well, I... Well, I'm sorry, but you're not supposed to be here. Step back under the lens, please. This is a restricted area. No visitors allowed. Good day, sir. Kind of the way they acted there, did the voice acting, it reminded me of Monty Python. I guess I'm not supposed to go up there. Oh, really? Duh. You know, this stupid window, not... Anyway, it reminded me of Monty Python, how they sometimes did their sketches. I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one who was reminded of Monty Python with that way, the way they acted. Seriously. Anybody else? Monty Python? No. <laughs> I can't be the only one. <laughs> so, let's continue down here. And we find ourselves uh, another room. Several ways to go. We can go down here. We could go up here. I think I'm going to go down here. <laughs> I don't know. It sounded... It was very rhythmical how I spoke there. So, it needed a uh, drum effect. There's not much really what we can do in the city just yet. So let's go over here and see what we got. Get my notepad ready because I need to do the do 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 do. You need to write down some a note once we get here. Trust me, I'm gonna need this. <coughs> Bobin, will you walk up here, please? Up, please. Thank you. So this way we go. Halt! Who 
goes. Well, well, well. Looks like a scrawny runt trying to sneak into our flock. Sneak? You call that sneaking? I heard them coming all the way in from down. Thought you were going to fleece some shepherds, did you? No. Maybe we ought to take the shears to you instead. I'm just... <laughs> Listen, I mean, I'm not looking for sheep. Yeah. No trouble. We're just walking. I'm looking for a flock of swans. Swans? Swans. You know. Birds. Birds. Oh, swans. Of course. Listen, does anybody we know what a swan is? Known. Everybody comes here when they want swans. <laughs> <laughs> next, next, you'll be telling us you're some sort of wizard off to fly away with them birds. <laughs> right. A wizard? Wizard? You wouldn't happen to be the great wizard that Fleece was telling us about. Would you know? Uh, Please. He is sort of dressed like a wizard. He's wearing a robe. Know. He doesn't look very powerful to me. Me hey. neither. I say we don't let him by until we know for sure. Now screw you. Come on then, wizard. Let's see some magic. Uh, or else. Uh, These guys are assholes. We're getting out of here. Screw you guys. We're going home. Come on, lads. He's had enough. Let him go. Man. Some kind of wizard, eh? Don't trip on your robe, little wizard. Get on, you lazy bunch of yous. Back to work. They're so mean. <laughs> Mommy. Okay, let's get back to town. <laughs> Ah, uh, jeez. Talk about being jerks. Really? Just really. Come on, Bobbin, you can walk faster. Just keep going. I hate it when you need to cl keep on clicking because they stop in the middle of the walk. I wonder if this is the other entrance that I can go to. Nope. Apparently not. But I can go through here. So let's uh, dig around a little bit. See if we can find ourselves somewhere new. Should be this way. Should be this way. Should be the booba. No. How about it here? No. Can you walk a little further, Bobbin? Or is that where the road stops? Fine. Fine. The only way we can really get around here is past the two guys that are cleaning the uh, scythe thing. But now we have the means and ways of doing so. So what we gotta do is play those notes that those guys were playing when they disappeared and appeared. I'm not sure if I got the right note, the notes right, but. It might help to point at something first. Okay, how about here? Okay, that didn't work. I need to choose my drafts more carefully. At least I got the uh, notes right. Damn it! Wrong. This is the difficulty of the expert level. You just got to know where the notes are. Okay. That didn't help at all. I guess we need to go upstairs then to do it. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Now I remember how to do this, how to do this. No, 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 this is the wrong way to do it. Stop her. Over there. I don't believe this. Looking for trouble, are you? You're certainly about to find it. He'll not be the only one in trouble if Crucible finds him up here. Not to mention what will happen if we get behind schedule. Listen here, lad. We have secret work to do and not much time to do it. Do you understand what secret means? Yes. But it's very important that I get... Good. Please step over to the lens. Now. Stupid brat. You said it. Hey, don't be so rude. Jeez, everybody's rude around here. What's wrong with you people? Be nice. Hmm, those two are going to be a bit of a problem. Yeah, but I do remember how to get past them now. I just remembered it. 
We gotta go outside. We have to go outside because there they are, as you can see them. What's going on up there? Well, as far as we can tell, they're cleaning or sharpening the scythe. That thread's too high for me. Oop, sorry. It did work. Now we can go safely up here because we're invisible to these guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just wait for it. Wait for it. And voila! <laughs> Our esteemed Bishop Mandible cuts quite a figure, doesn't he? I don't doubt the Crucible is getting tired of bowing and scraping to him. Why would the clerics want a scrying sphere anyway? I thought they didn't believe in the future. Yeah, your guess is as lucid as mine, Flute. But Crucible appears to think that they're up. Then why would he do business with them at all? Let alone sell them a sphere. Well, you know, Crucible, he'd sell his own mother's spectacles if he thought there was a profit in it. And the clerics are paying off in cash. Which should keep us in the clear for years to come. Still, I'm certainly pleased that Crucible's not taking any chances. This scythe might become very useful if our friend the bishop has been less than transparent with us. Ouch! Yes. Very useful indeed. So apparently the crucible and P bishop are the evil guys around here. That scythe is even sharper than a weaver's spindle. Okay. So that's sharpen. Although we don't have the note yet, so we cannot use it. And now we go to this side and use this bell. It's kind of amazing that those guys don't react to seeing the light and nobody appearing. Kind of weird that they don't do it, or at least make any kind of notion for it. I mean, I'm sure they see the light. Okay, so now we know how to scare off the farmers, or sheep herders, and shepherds. What else do we see in six hours? Flames. In a cave. Okay. That was an interesting sight of the future. Anything else? A swan! Yes, we know that one. We learned it from the beginning. Is there anywhere else I can go around here? Guess not. So let's go back. Onwards we go, and downwards we go. Yo ho, Mario! Scythe is being sharpened. Beep, 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 beep. Alright! So now we learn something about the future, as in how to get past the shepherds. And also, we've learned another new spell from the scythe. Thanks for that, scythe. Just need to learn the next uh, note. And I'm gonna leave it here before we move on to the next area. So next time we're gonna go and scare some shepherds. Because it's gonna be fun. I hope. So I hope you all I hope you all enjoyed the video and I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning, and I will see you all next time. Take care, people. Bye.